everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing a short tutorial on how you can download Swem or any other Java Minecraft mod onto your computer. I'm going to be explaining this using MultiMC, CurseForge, and also the vanilla Minecraft launcher. If you haven't been updated recently, V1 of Swem has been released to CurseForge, and there's been a little bit of a confusion on how to get this mod to work. Whether it's because you are a first time mod user, you aren't very experienced with downloading mods, or you're just more of a visual person, I hope this tutorial helps you out. Before downloading any of the mods, go ahead to the Sequestrian website and check out version one of Swem and look at the requirements. It shows you exactly what's on the mod, the Minecraft version required, the dependencies or mods that are required to be with SWEM to work, also the Forge version you will need to download, and then the recommendations of the allocated RAM you may need to run this mod. The website also has a lot of other information on it, so I do recommend going and peeking around the website a little bit if you guys are curious about anything, and also Discord does have some support areas as well. The Star Room Equestrian mod and SWLM slash SWDM are only available for Java Minecrafts, and that is downloadable on Windows, Mac, and Linux. The first method we're going to be looking at is MultiMC. MultiMC is an alternative launcher for Minecrafts. It allows you to have multiple, cleanly separate instances for Minecrafts, each with their own mods, resource packs, saves, etc., and helps you manage them and their associated options with a simple and powerful interface. Hannah, the owner of Swem, introduced this to me, and I have never gone back to any other program. It's just so easy to manage and use. In the situation two years ago when I first started using Swem, I was a first time mod user and it changed my life. There are multiple ways that you can use multi-MC to get mods onto your Minecraft, but I'm going to go ahead and explain the two that I know and two of the easiest. Before actually loading mods onto your multi-MC, you have to make sure that you have Java installed on your computer. The easiest way to do this is just have the base game Minecraft on your computer and run it so that Java is installed on your computer. If you don't have Java installed, you can go ahead and install it, and then you can also use the program to search for your Java installation and find it easily. In the multi-MC settings, you also have RAM that is allocated to Minecraft. You can edit this RAM if you have a higher end PC or a PC that has a little bit more RAM than the typical laptop top or PC. For example, I have a higher end PC and MultiMC's default maximum RAM wasn't quite enough for me to run on full settings and shaders. So if you're having any problems running MultiMC, whether it's due to memory or your computer just not really giving enough to Minecraft to make it a little bit laggy, you can go ahead and edit the RAM as well. The first way to download these mods onto MultiMC is to create an instance. You can name the instance and you can also select a version of Minecraft for the instance. In this case, it will be 1.16.5 because that is the only version of Minecraft that Swem is released on currently. On the left tab, you can select versions and download Forge onto your instance and you will need to go ahead and download 36.2. 34 plus. Thankfully, it's one of the default ones for multi-MC for me, so it was very easy to find. I'll go ahead and go to sequestrian.com slash mods, scroll down until you find Swem v1, download the required mods, which is the Star Room Equestrian mod, the Gecko Lib, and the Player Animations. Go ahead and select Loader Mods on the left side tab, drag in the three mods there, and then you can go ahead and load up your Minecrafts. There's also tabs on the left to control texture packs, shader packs, screenshots, logs, and so much more. You can also add different mods to the loader mods part of MultiMC, so it's not just those three. Those are just the three base mods you will need to run. And there's also a log option, which makes it easy to keep track of your Minecraft logs and also maybe see why your Minecraft is crashing or why mods aren't compatible with other mods. The next way on MultiMC is what I use for more of like bulkier mod packs or mod packs with a lot of mods in it. When you download the zip file, you can go ahead and browse from MultiMC and you can find the zip file with all of the mods and download it directly into an instance. This makes it far easier for a lot of mods versus manually putting them in. The next way is through CurseForge. I like using CurseForge when I'm downloading a mod pack or a mod straight from CurseForge. So since Swem is on CurseForge already, this may be an easier way for you to download Swem. You will need to download the CurseForge program, which allows you to load Minecraft through this program. First, you will create a custom profile. Just like with MultiMC, you'll put the mods in your mod folder. Make sure when it launches, it shows the Forge installation. 
Another way of installing mods from CurseForge onto the program is selecting the Install with CurseForge app button beside the mods, and you can create a mod pack with the mod or add it to a pre-existing one. The last way is the Vanilla Launcher. The Vanilla Launcher tutorial is on the Sequestrian website, and it's pretty simple. First, make sure you have run the version of Minecraft you are trying to download Forge onto. For example, if you have never run Minecraft on your computer, Forge doesn't really know what folder to look for, and it will give you an error message. So make sure you have run Minecraft before on your computer. Next, download Forge onto your computer. Make sure it is the right version. Like I said, the Forge requirement on the website is 36.2.34. Once Forge has been run once and you have closed at Minecraft, your Minecraft folder should now have a mods folder. Place the mods in your mod folder. When you run Minecraft on that Forge version, you will be able to see the mods. Vanilla Launcher may not have as many tools as MultiMC or the Curse Forge Launcher, but it still has a simple way for you to install the mods with just a few extra steps. Common problems and solutions are listed on the website. I'm excited to see all of the gameplay of you guys playing Swim, and I'm so excited that this mod is finally here for you all to enjoy. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Stay healthy and safe and I will see you in the next video or stream.